So right now I'm going to start off by talking about some of the cool developer features in Spring 16 and some of the first enhancements that I want to talk about are particularly around Visual Force inside of Lightning Experience. So we released Lightning Experience uh, in August and some of the biggest questions we've been getting from customers is what can we do with our existing Visual Force pages? What can we as developers start doing that's supported and bringing some of our existing customizations over? And so I want to show you some of the new things around Visual Force inside of Lightning Experience. So first off, in previously before Spring, this navigation menu was not customizable. But now as of Spring, we can not only customize that with any object or Visual Force page or Lightning component that we want, um, but we can uh, tailor that by profile. So I'm going to go into the setup by clicking on that cog in the corner and going to Setup Home. And then using this quick find here, if I type in navigation, previously you'd only see Salesforce One navigation to modify the mobile app. But now we have navigation menus, which allows you to change the Lightning Experience navigation. And so if I go click on New, I'm going to make a beer app. Yep, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> California, it's time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over some of my custom objects, so a beers, breweries. I also have um, a Beer Explorer Visual Force page that I can drag over here. And I'm going to opt in also show home. So, you know, if you forget to do that, ET can never go home. And last, I'm going to do some chatter people because they might want to know about these breweries. So, so Sam, I have to stop you. This is too cool. So this is a drag and drop interface because I know, you know, you're talking about the visual force pages you're adding or the tabs you're adding, but also we've got custom and standard. So this is something that admins and developers can use. Absolutely. And I, this is going to be great for, um, you know, people all over your company too because in that next step, admins can be able to uh, apply different navigation layouts for all of these different profiles. So in this case, I am a system administrator, so I'm going to make this available for me, but I can create a completely different layout for all the different salespeople, marketing people, um, and this is only going to get more complex as uh, future releases come out. So like how now we have the app picker that allows you to toggle between different apps. Um, this navigation menu is going to get more complex um, to allow you to have different app experiences and be able to have different layouts for different users. So this is super, super great. So after I click Finish, I have that beer app ready to go. If I refresh Lightning Experience, uh, I should see this tab on the left uh, refresh with my new custom objects and Visual Force page. So here I have access to beers, um, I have access to the people, and I also have this Beer Explorer. So this is that custom Visual Force page for being able to filter by all of the different beers that I might want to see. Now, where else can I add this Visual Force page into Lightning Experience, you may be asking? Well, first, let's say I actually go into that Breweries tab. Maybe I want to put this same Explorer onto my brewery layout to see all the beers possible. Well, if I click on that cog in the upper right, I can edit this page with Lightning App Builder and then use a Visual Force component to be able to drag that Visual Force page directly into the layout. So if I take this Visual Force standard component, put it right there, it's going to show me all the different Visual Force pages that have a standard controller of this object, just like when you're putting a Visual Force page onto the page layout. And of course, if you want to change the size, this is all customizable. I can also add a label for the title. And if this Visual Force page happened to already be in the page layout in Classic, that would automatically show up down here in the detail view on the record home. So those are two places that you can put your Visual Force pages directly onto a record home layout. Now I'm going to leave this page really quick and also show you, we just were looking at App Builder, let's take a look at App Launcher. So if I click this little tic-tac-toe board up here in the right, it's going to take me to my app launcher. And so that's going to show me all of the different custom apps that I have available, whether they're connected apps or apps that you've built declaratively or um, maybe even web apps. But I'm going to click into my Beer Explorer app. And so this is something I'd see in the App Picker in Classic. And so these are all the tabs in that tab set. And again, I have access to that Explorer tab, which again takes me right back to this Visual Force page. So a lot of different ways that we can access Visual Force inside of Lightning Experience. Now the one thing I want to mention, last thing, is in the setup, when I go to my pages, 
Uh, just like in Salesforce One, where you need to actually um, enable this page to be available for mobile, you have to check this box to make it available for Salesforce One or Lightning. So even if you have the tab in the navigation, maybe you have it pulled onto uh, a tab in Salesforce One, it, even if you have everything configured correctly, if this tab or this checkbox isn't checked, it's not going to show up, and that can be kind of a pain in the butt when you think you have everything set up properly. So make sure you check this box for any visual force you want to put on Lightning Experience or Salesforce One. So great. That is demo one.